Shalom, um, warriors of Yahuwah and of the truth. I'm going to continue on with my Hebrews series um, from the BYNV scriptures. Um, if you have it, you can uh, read along with me. Um, Hebrews 10. For the Torah having a shadow of the good things to come and not the image itself of the things was never able to make perfect those who draw near with the same slaughter offerings, which they offer continually year by year. Otherwise, would they not have ceased to be offered? Because those who served once cleansed would have had no more consciousness of sins. But in those offerings is a reminder of sins year by year. For it is impossible for blood of bulls and goats to take away sins. Therefore, coming into the world, he says, Slaughtering and meal offering you did not desire, but a body you have prepared for me. In burnt offerings and, sin, and offerings for sin you did not delight. Then I said, See, I come in the Megillah of the book. It has been written concerning me to do your desire, O Yahuwah saying above slaughter and meal offering and burnt offerings and offerings for sin you did not desire nor delighted in which are offered according to the torah then he said see i come to do your desire o yahuwah he takes away the first to establish the second by that de by that desire we have been set apart through the offering of the body of yahusha mashiach once for all and indeed, every priest stands yom by, yom by yom, or day by day, doing service, and repeatedly offering the same sla slaughter offerings, which are never able to take away sins. But he, having offered one slaughter offering for sins for all time, sat down at the right hand of Yahuwah, waiting from that time onward until his enemies are made a footstool for his feet. For by one offering he has perfected for all time those who are being set apart. And the Ruach HaKadosh also witnesses to us for ha after having said before, This is the covenant that I shall make with them after those yomim, or those days, saying, Yahuwah gives my laws into their hearts. And in their minds I shall write them. And their sins and their lawlessness I shall remember no more. Now where they, there is forgiveness of these, there is no longer a slaughter offering for sin. So brothers, having boldness to enter into the set-apart place by the blood of Yahusha, by a new and living way which he instituted for us through the veil that is his flesh, and having a high priest over the house of Yahuwah, let us draw near with a true heart, in completeness of belief, having our hearts sprinkled from a wicked conscience and our bodies washed with clean water, a cleansing. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without yielding, for he who, prom who promised is trustworthy. And let us be concerned for one another in order to stir up love and good works, not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging in so much more as you see the yom or day coming near. For if we sin purposely, after we have received the knowledge of the truth, there no longer remains a slaughter offering for sins, but some fearsome anticipation of judgment and a fierce fire which is about to consume the opponents. Anyone who has disregarded the Torah of Moshe or Moses dies without compassion on the witnesses of those on the witness of two or three witnesses. I'm sorry guys, my bangs are all messed up today. Um <laughs> Um, how much worse punishment do you think shall he deserve who has trampled the son of Yahuwah underfoot? Counted the blood of the covenant by which he was set apart as common and insulted the Ruach of favor. For we know him who has said, Vengeance is mine, I shall repay, says Yahuwah, and again Yahuwah shall judge his people. It is fearsome to fall into the hands of the living Yahuwah. 
But remember the former yeoman or days when, after you were enlightened, you endured a great struggle with sufferings. On the one hand, you were exposed to the reproaches and pressures, and on the other hand, you became sharers with those who were, were so treated. For you sympathized with me in my chains, and you accepted with joy and seizure of your possessions, knowing that you have a better and a lasting possession for yourselves in the Shamayim or the heavens. Do not then lose your boldness, which has great reward. For you have need of endurance, so that when you have done the desire of Yahuwah, you receive the promise. For yet a little while, he who is coming shall come and shall not delay. But the righteous shall live by belief. But if anyone draws back, my being has no pleasure in him. But we are not of those who draw back to the destruction, but of belief to the preservation of life. Next time I will, re I will be reading Hebrews 11. I hope everyone has a blessed day. Shalom and blessings. Uh, blessings from Yahuwah. I love you all. And Bella Beanie's sleeping. Yeah.